Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the show and welcome to another very exciting episode in our Firebase Social Login series. Now, I really hope you guys have been enjoying the last couple of episodes where I've shown you guys how to log in with Facebook and how to actually install the Facebook SDK for iOS. So a lot of good stuff there. Hopefully you guys and go watch that if you guys haven't done so already. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at how to use those Facebook uh, credentials to actually log into Firebase and then creating a Firebase user inside of the Firebase console. So a lot of good stuff there. And before we kind of dive into that, uh, let me show you a quick demo as to what this will eventually look like in our application. So inside of the simulator I have here, and this is our current application, right? And it doesn't have anything but these two buttons uh, inside our inside of our completed application here, we have uh, this login button, which does something else a little bit differently. So it's going to authenticate the user uh, inside of Facebook, but at the same time, what you don't really see is it's actually making a call to Firebase as well, and it's going to log into Firebase with those Facebook credentials. Uh, more specifically, it's taking the Facebook access token, this access token, and it's handing it off to Firebase, and then it's creating a Firebase user. So what this really means is that you don't need to have a user uh, use their email password to create a Firebase user. You can just pass in the Facebook credentials, making this whole you know, login process just a little bit easier. So a lot of good stuff here. And let me just go through quickly how to implement all of this today. Uh, the first step is to go into Firebase's website and create a Firebase application. And then this application will be used uh, to actually uh, store all of these Firebase users. Uh, the second thing to do is to uh, install the Firebase SDKs and all the libraries inside of our, our workspace project, our Firebase project. And lastly, we'll use these SDKs to actually authenticate and create our Firebase user. So it uh, might sound like a lot, but it's actually gonna go by rather quickly for today. Now, so the question is, where do we start, right? And the easiest way to begin all of this, this integration process, is to first create an application inside of Firebase's website. Uh, go ahead and head to console.firebase.google.com. And if you don't have a project already, um, you probably do, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create a new one right here. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it what my projects call it just so I can keep track of all this stuff. Uh, I do have a lot of uh, demo projects for all the setup work that I have to uh, prepare for these videos for. And so you have to create, you call it something, and then your project is created. You have a lot of stuff on the left, uh, left side but you don't have to worry, for, uh, worry about that for now. The concern I have here uh, that I wanna focus on is iOS and how to add it to my Firebase app. So you click on that button and you need to pull in your bundle ID, which is found here inside of the general tab. Whatever your bundle identifier is, you wanna go back to this little section and just paste it in there. You don't need to fill out any of these two optional fields. So I'm going to go ahead and add the application it's going to create it, and immediately it's going to download this plist file down here, right? So this plist file is here. Hopefully you guys can see it. And what it's really um, trying to tell you to do is it wants you to drag in that plist file, right? And I think I previously had this in there. So all you have to do is you wanna drag this file inside of your project like that, and then you'll have this uh, file right below info P list or wherever you wanna put it. Uh, one thing that's important to uh, be mindful of is you wanna make sure the file name is correct. So Google service dash info dash or dot P list. Okay, so that's good. We've taken care of one of these steps for the integration process of Firebase. Let's continue. Now it's going to tell you to install Firebase core, uh, but today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use the Firebase auth package instead and then we'll look at the last step just a little bit later. So the auth package kind of looks like this. You wanna uh, 
you want to go into terminal and hopefully you guys aren't scared of terminal anymore you want to go to the project uh, directory for whatever your project is inside of Xcode you want to make sure you change directory into that and if you just type in open pod file it opens up this text editor for me uh, right below I can just hit pod firebase off like that hit save exit out of there and now if I hit pod install it's going to reach out to the interwebs and install those firebase SDKs so that I can use it inside of my project so do, 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 it's all done looks good and to actually use it I'm going to show you guys kind of how to uh, how this kind of works so you can import firebase and then you can actually start calling the firebase libraries right away but we don't want to do that yet we want to complete this initialization a code right here so it tells you to uh, type in some swift code of firebase app, uh, app configured so i'm going to hit the finish and we're kind of all set up now and we're ready to dive into the actual code uh, in which we will uh, start up the firebase process so previously where it's telling you to uh, call configure is inside of app delegate and in, in here you want to import firebase like that and inside of this did finish launching with options I'm going to say Firebase app configure and run the application. So where's my simulator guy? It's right here. Uh, let's shrink it down a little bit. And here we go. So you'll notice that you have a lot of warnings on the left side, but that's actually fine. Um, I think they're working on fixing these warnings uh, on the Firebase team. So there we go. We have the application started. If you look at the console on the bottom, you'll notice that um, when you call Firebase uh, configure, uh, it actually starts up the whole library and then it spits out a lot of uh, stuff in the console. So that's good. Uh, there's really no way of shutting this off. Um, it's actually really useful for when things are not working. Uh, you can see all the error messages that uh, pop up in the very bottom. So having called this configure, we can now actually create a user inside of Firebase. So uh, the section of which this all happens is this authentication tab on the left. So all these users, these users from uh, Google, Facebook, and Twitter, they all go inside of authentication. And inside of my brand new application, I don't have anything in there yet. And that's the goal uh, for today's video. We wanna kind of create a user that will show up inside of that tab. And the easiest way of doing that, now that I have Firebase imported on view controller, I can, let's see. So what's happening in our current application is every time I click on one of those Facebook login buttons, it's calling this show email address uh, code in both of the scenarios for both of those buttons, right? So if I, uh, let's see, create a new line inside of show email address, I can actually uh, log in to Firebase using this Facebook user. And the way to do that is to, let's see, Firebase app auth, uh, let's see, Firebase, nope, Firebase auth, uh, auth, and then sign in. Okay, and you wanna use this sign in with uh, FIR auth credentials with this completion block right here. So the first question is, uh, how do we fill in these parameters? And it's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to first construct this auth credential like this. So let credentials equals FIR Facebook auth provider. And you want to call this credential uh, uh, class method on Facebook auth provider. And what is this access token? So I was mentioning this a little er earlier, I believe. And uh, access token is something that you can... Uh, get from the Firebase SDK or the Facebook SDK rather and to do that you want to say uh, FB SDK access token dot current will give you this access token guy so let's say access token equals that a uh, little bit of information and with access token you want to call access token dot token string so that's how it works I believe this needs a string so what's in here and I believe it's trying to get me to unwrap the string as well. 
So that's good. If you want to do this a little bit safer, you can say guard let uh, access token string equals access token dot token string and say else return. And I believe that's a little safer. Let's see here, access token string. Hopefully that works. I believe it should. So there we go, credentials is right there. Let's fill in that first parameter here and then hit enter for the result callback. Now we're kind of ready to uh, verify if this works, right? So the completion handler is this user and this error. And we'll say if error is not equal to nil, um, print something went wrong with our FB user. And then we'll say error right here. See, I think we need a comma. And then we'll say return. Otherwise, we'll just print, uh, print out successfully. Logged in with our user. And then we will try to print out, see, user perhaps. Let's build and see a couple of warnings here. Now, because I'm using Xcode 8.1 right now, um, you want to probably take in this guy and then for the default value, you can just use a blank string like that. And you might be able to do the same thing here. Let's see there, build. So that gets rid of those warnings and let's just get rid of this guy. And uh, let's just do this down here. So I'm not exactly sure if that's the correct fix because I'm pretty new to Xcode, uh, Xcode 8.1 as well but that'll get rid of those warnings. And if I run the application now, every time I log into Facebook, I'm going to attempt to create or to sign in with those Facebook credentials. So let's see if that works or if something will show up at the bottom right there. So I'm hit okay. And it already tells me that operation is not allowed and it says, Let's see, it says error, the given sign-in provider is disabled for this Firebase project and so on and so forth. What it's really trying to tell you to do is it wants you to enable uh, a sign-in method inside our Firebase console. And namely, what we want to figure out how to set up here is this guy right here for Facebook. And then you want to actually enable it like that. And then you have a couple of things which uh, belong to the Facebook dashboard, right? Okay, so I'm gonna be back in just a little bit to actually show you how to get the app ID and the app secret. Okay, and we're back. So the way to get these, uh, the app ID and the secret is to log into uh, the dashboard for your Facebook application. So I'm here right now in my Google Chrome browser and the app ID is this. So if I go back to my Firebase console, uh, app ID is that little piece of information. And inside of this right here, you wanna get the app secret. So to do that, you can actually show it by clicking on the show. Um, what you'll need to do is you want to, it's gonna prompt you for a password. So you wanna punch that in. Um, the secret is actually an important information that you don't want others to know about. So make sure to keep that actually secret from everyone else. Now I'm gonna throw away this application a little bit later, so it doesn't matter for me. Um, and there we go. You want to enter your app secret here and you want to hit save. So it's very important that this application, this Facebook application is the actual, uh, application that you're using inside of your iOS app. So make sure everything is, uh, set up properly. So having enabled this Facebook login inside of Firebase, what I can do now is I can actually attempt to log in one more time. Uh, I'm curious to see if this works, so hit OK. And there we go. So at the very bottom, uh, the message or the error from previously where it's saying operation not allowed, it's that error is now gone. It's saying, it's showing my email. And then success, successfully logged in with our user, Firebase user, which is this print statement right above, right there. So that's kind of how you would uh, kind of pass the Facebook credentials to Firebase and then it creates your user. So the one final thing to verify to kind of see if everything is actually working 
is to click on this authentication tab and then you'll see the very first user inside of your Firebase application. It actually gets the email as well uh, if you have the actual permissions to get this Facebook user's email. So sometimes you don't have those permissions. Um, I believe in the last video I showed you guys how to set uh, read permissions on the login button. So that's how uh, the email will show up inside of the console here. And that's kind of it. Okay, pretty good stuff. Really hope you guys learned a little bit more about Firebase and how to create this Facebook user. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode of this wonderful series, I'm gonna show you guys how to log in with Google, uh, Google Plus, is that still a thing? And uh, use Google Plus's uh, credentials to also log into Firebase and creating a user that way. Finally, if you wanna to download today's project and all the stuff that you saw in today's video, make sure to visit the link in the description. Uh, there's also going to be a written guide uh, for all of this stuff today. And uh, make sure to download the project and run it to see if it's working for you. And that's it for me today. I uh, hope you guys keep on coding and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.